Well, guess what, folks? <laughs> I'm here in Birmingham at my old spot. Boy, that sun's not gonna. The sun's pretty bright. It's still a still a mess, and uh, still a little bit chilly here in Birmingham. It doesn't look like much has changed here. What the deal is is I have some VA appointments. Uh, that were scheduled before I left for uh, Tampa. So, I'm going to get those things taken care of this week, and then I'll probably. The sun's going to give me fits everywhere, isn't it? Then I'll probably change my uh, doctor stuff over to Tampa. But I had forgotten something that was important to me here, which is. Uh, this bucket, this bucket and a couple of bungee cords. I don't like to lose my bungee cords, but in that bucket is my camping coffee kit, let's call it. My uh, teapot and my carafe and a couple of coffee cups and my permanent filter and all that stuff. Everybody I don't know, probably $70, $80 worth of stuff there I ran off and forgot, so I wanted to come back and get it. So, leaving Tampa and coming up to Birmingham here, two people that I met up at Adventureland when I went up there a couple of years ago to run those rides are in a town called uh, Mariana, Florida, which is you know, not too far off of being halfway between Tampa and Birmingham. So, uh, I left Tampa on Sunday morning and I had already booked a, a motel room there in Mariana. So, uh, I hooked up with those two folks and, uh, they travel far and wide. They've been RVing for, I think like 10 years work camping all over the country doing all kinds of stuff selling Christmas trees working pumpkin patches like I said I met them at Adventureland uh, they worked at uh, places down in Arizona up in North and South Dakota just everywhere but anyway so I stopped there and I was glad to see them and uh, he's working at his, uh, a butcher there in a grocery store and she's running a, a campground so uh, stopped by to say hi to them and uh, had some lunch and he took me on a little tour around and I wanted to show you that too. There's a lady here and this is in Mariana now, uh, Florida. There's a lady here catching uh, crawfish on a fishing pole <laughs> and it's really cool. I mean, she's she's really catching them. Check this out. I have all those crawfish to show up my camera or not. <laughs> you gotta figure that to show friends. Put your hand in there so they bite. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's cool. I didn't bring anything to... I didn't bring anything to film you two. All this destruction still left over from Hurricane Michael. Tore everything up. Trees down everywhere. I 
don't know how far I want to walk out on it. Miss, miss, miss. So that was all that was about. That was a pretty cool uh, lake and spring. Those springs are all over uh, the panhandle of Florida. And I got certified scuba diving in a spring there called Vortex Springs. Water really uh, was gushing out of this one though. It made that whole lake in a, in a whole like small river. There was so much water coming out of there, but it was really cool and just thought I'd share that with you. And if uh, you like crawfish, go ahead and give this method a little bit of a try because uh, she was catching those crawfish like crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get about my business. Uh, I've got to go to the to my accountant too and get income taxes squared away and all that. So, so anyway, everybody have a really good day. I appreciate you watching.